evening, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Race Space Spotlight. Today, we're going to be going all the way out to Huntington Beach, California, with 14-year-old, newly 14-year-old Jake Bowman. Jake, how are you doing this evening? Good. How are you? I'm doing fine, man. Uh, so what's been going on so far in 2021? Um, really nothing. I mean, I wish it was moving a lot faster, like with super late model and stuff, but I just turned 14 and, and now we're moving to the super late. Yeah. But like a, you, later you've, in the already run, you've already run three, um, SRL traveling pro late model series races and kind of struggled a little bit on the first one. Um, but then you started, you moved up, you got a top 15 finish. And then last time out, you got a, you got a top 10 and eight. So that's, that's pretty good to me. Yeah, we're just starting to get better with the new team, you know, learning with them. You know, it's tough to like switch in like mid season and then now, and now we're just with them. And now it's, I think it's going to be good this year. Yeah, well, it's got to be a, a good experience. Tell us a little bit what it's like being able to race with Jeremy Goss. I mean, he's like a legend out there on the West Coast. Are you learning a lot from him? Yeah, I mean, so my, I, when I ran my legend car in Nationals, um, he ran for the same team I'd did and that um i mean i knew him before that but that's that's how we really hit it off and then and then he's just young you know he's not like my age but like he just acts young you know so like we really work together that's good well like i said i mean anytime you go to a late model race and jeremy doss is involved in it he's got a good chance to win it so um i'm hoping that you're learning a lot out there so you got an upcoming race this weekend you got two actually you're going to be running yes. the super late model um, at where I think you're at Stockton 99 Speedway in the, uh, I shouldn't say super late model, the pro late model. And then you're going to turn around and race the legend car as well. So share with the viewers a little bit, how tough is it to switch back and forth between those two cars? Um, it was tough the first week and I did it. It was actually really hard. Um, but I actually got better with it when I ran at Irwindale last or two, three weeks ago, I really got better with it then. And I'm really looking forward to this weekend running both. And I don't get, it's not that tiring. Like, cause how much, um, I don't know if I want to call it stamina or not, but like, um, well, it's stamina. You got to be in shape to be able to do this. Right. So that's one thing that we're, you know, we're really starting to, to concentrate on, you know, for this year is, you know, the physical fitness side of what it takes to be a competitive racer. Because again, you know, when you start getting tired in those last 10, 15, 20 laps of a race, when you get physically tired, you get mentally tired. And that's the difference between possibly winning a race and finishing third, or even the difference between finishing fifth and finishing 10th. So um, I think the more that you can work on, you know, your physical fitness side, it's going to affect your mental fitness side and you're just going to have all around better results. Of course. So you, you kind of let a little bit of the cat out of the bag because you got some exciting things coming on a little bit later in the year. Uh, in July, you're going to be heading out to the East Coast. Now, um, are you excited about going out to the East Coast and racing with Justin Johnson Racing in a late model stock, a bigger, heavier car, a lot of horsepower, not as much brakes as probably what you're used to. So are you looking forward to that experience? Yeah, anything new is just fun, you know, like um, just back east. I don't know. I'm not going to say it's more competitive. There's just a lot more cars. There's more racers back east. And I think more people, the better. It helps you, you learn more. And and I'm very excited. Yeah, I think you're going to fit in pretty well because you you are kind of an aggressive driver. And the East Coast is very aggressive. Um, so I think you're going to blend in well there. And you're going to be going to a speedway first and then you're going to be going to legendary hickory motor speedway so i mean you stop and think about it for a minute have you is that kind of settled in that you're going to be racing at one of the most famed tracks in the country i mean i mean the list of dale earnhardt rusty wallace labonis i mean anybody who's been anybody richard petty bobby allison all of those drivers have raced at hickory and here in July, you're going to be there. Yeah, I can't wait. I think I wanted to go on it like I wanted to run Hickory like last year, but um, I can't wait for this um, in July. 
Well, you know, they just scanned the track. So I'm not sure when they're going to release Hickory on iRacing, but it'd be pretty cool if they got it out here before before July rolled around. Yeah, it would be. If not, we're going to hook you up with maybe like, we'll hook you up with like Caden Honeycutt or Anthony Alfredo or, or those guys that have run that track several times and let them kind of give you an insight to what to expect because that's a tough track, man. It's, it's rough. But it's legendary, and I'm I'm uh, I'm excited to see you go out there and be able to run that. Me too. And then you're going to go back and you're going to do that again. Um, I'm just looking at your schedule here. I think you're going to go run that again in September. You're going to go out and run. You have September third and September fourth. You're going to go to Ace and Hickory again. So you have two different opportunities to run both of those tracks and. You're going to like Ace Speedway too. Ace is a great place. We were out there just a, just about a week ago. And then if that wasn't enough, uh, come August, you're going to have the opportunity for the first time to get in a super late model. And you're going yes, to do that. I'm really excited for that. Yeah, you're going to do that with, uh, with Travis Sharp. You're going to be up in that Northwest uh, super late model series up there. And that, that's going to be exciting as well. Yes, it is. So you're gonna you're gonna be running. Let's see, with Travis, you're gonna be running at South Sound Speedway, and I guess at well, I guess both times you go up there, you're gonna be at South Sound Speedway. So I know the car is gonna be good. Um, that's gonna be again a, a different type of experience for you. And what are you what are you looking? I know every time we say super late, Bob, you get a big smile on your face. So. What are you looking, I mean, what are you most excited for? The horsepower, the speed of it. The I horsepower, guess. the speed. You know, uh, it's got a lot, probably going to be, I don't know, the brakes are probably going to be a little bit better than what you're currently racing now. I'm not really sure how much different that's going to be. But the one thing that I know is, you know, um, talking to some other drivers is that some of these guys that run super late models uh, a lot, they talk about, like when they go and they get in a late model stock, which you're going to be doing on the East Coast, how much more control you have by making adjustments and how those adjustments will really uh, pay off in the handling of the car and how the car reacts. And I've heard a lot of super late model guys go, man, you know what? you got to have a good car when it unloads because it's tough to make adjustments at the track for a super late model. Yeah, it is. I um, When we are at uh, Irwindale, I was just watching Jeremy just like there's just so much stuff that he does with the super late yeah so much stuff so what else is going on in the life in the life of jake bowman what are you doing when you're not racing um right now i've been on my simulator a lot lately because right now with the spears there's only like i think it's like only two races or every other i think it's like two weeks there's like a break so like nick so i'm racing this week Again, and then the next weekend, thank God, I'm running in um, Vegas in the Legend Car, so I don't miss a weekend of racing. And school, of course, we're all back in person now, uh, no online. So that it's, I'm not gonna say it's easier at school, but well, you, I guess you, not a, not that much homework. They give right. less at school. But you're still now you're back and you get to hang out with your friends rather than kind of being right. up all the time. So. So that's good. So I, I was going to ask the question, do you like online school better or in-person school better? But I think you've already answered that. Um, I'm going to answer it again. I mean, so next year, because I'm going back and I'm a fresh freshman next year, I am going to Orange Lutheran and they have, it's called, they call it a blended schedule. So I am doing half online and half in person okay. just for racing. Yeah, and, and that, like I sort of say, that'll work out well with your with your racing schedule. Well, Jake, um, thank you so much for spending some time. Do you have any sponsors you want to give a shout out to? Um, my dad, of course. <laughs> well, I couldn't do without him. Yeah, and, so you um, can't do without that one. You, of course, too. Race face. Um, Pacific Coast Propane. Um, and I know we have a new sponsor coming for the super late model. Awesome. So we'll look forward to that announcement maybe on your next spotlight interview. But anyway, Jake, I want to thank you for being with us tonight. Good luck this weekend at Stockton 99. 
So everybody, if you're out there and you've not connected with Jake Bowman, you need to go to jakebowmanracing.com. jakebowmanracing.com. Make sure to visit his fan zone. Sign up for his digital newsletter. Um, I think Jake's got some hero cards there that he can give away for you guys. So um, go there. Make sure you follow him on his social media accounts, which is on the front page of his website. And again, Jake, thanks for joining us tonight. And for all of you, we'll see you back here in two weeks for the next Race Day Spotlight. Good night, everyone. Thank you.